after winning seven straight, strengthening their grip on first place in Sunbelt. Little Rock dropped both road tests in Texas at the hands of Texas State and UT Arlington. I, I, I thought that we didn't play well the last two games on the Texas trip. You know, we had to bounce back. We, we, we didn't want this uh, season to go to waste because instantly it could have been downhill from that. But the Trojans put on the brakes and stopped that skid. They beat Arkansas State in Jonesboro on Saturday. We showed that we have some resilience, so it was a good win for us against A-State. I'm glad that our guys bounced back and been mature about it. Next up for Little Rock is Louisiana Monroe on Thursday at the Jack. They're dead last in some belt standings, but now they're winning and remain very much alive. Well, I see I, I see Ertle. Ertle's all Sun belt guard. I see Tyreek White, who's a really good basketball player, and I see a team come in here uh, that's won three of their last four basketball games. So they're playing well and they're playing for something. The Trojans beating Monroe clinches a first or second seed in the Sun Belt tournament, but that doesn't change the game plan. Every game's the same to us either way. It don't matter really one, one seed, two seed. We approach every game the same. Well, I think if you just keep doing what you've been doing the whole year to put yourself in this place, and that's to win basketball games. Got it! Oh my goodness! While they take it game by game, the team's goal remains in sight. Definitely we want to be dancing in March, go to the tournament, and uh, I think that's been our goal from day one, so nothing's changed. We know the goal from day one is March Madness, but we still have a couple more games into that. We're happy with so far uh, how the season has went, but overall, uh, we got a bigger picture, and that bigger picture is getting to New Orleans and trying to win two games and get to the tournament. One, two, three, one, two, three, together. Once you get a taste of success, you want it every day, you want it all the time, and I think our guys got that mindset now, that winning mindset that Little Rock's been had since 2015, 2016, so and we know what we could do, so that's what we try to do every single day, lock in and get better.